Just like in every programming language course, the first thing we are going to be learning in this YouTube tutorial is data type. And the reason why this is so significant is because you only has one data type, which is 32 bytes. You can as well say the 256 bits that we have in Solidity. So let's quickly demonstrate how to return a 256 data type in Yule. So we start by declaring a function and we call it get u 256 It's going to be an external function and it's going to be a pure function because we don't have anything to do with the state variable. It returns u 256 So the first thing we are going to be doing is to declare a local variable called in 256 and we call it value so as we've mentioned that anytime we want to write a yield program in solidity it have to be in an assembly block so we declare an assembly block so we assign value to be 100 and outside the assembly block we can now return value we ensure this is properly compiled and we deploy we get you in 256 it returns 100 so what have we learned so far We've learned that anytime we want to write a yield program in Solidity, it has to be inside an assembly block. And the value that we declared here is actually being referenced within the function called get you in 256. As you can see, it's a local variable that is being referenced from this function. And also, when we want to assign 100 to this value, we assign it as column equal sign. In Solidity, if you want to assign a value in Solidity, you just have to declare it an equal sign, then you assign it. If you do this in Yule, it's going to give you a compilation error. So we are not going to do this here because we don't need this. And also, take note, we don't have a semicolon in Yule. If you do this, it's going to give you an error. So this is rubbish. This is not going to work. So previously, we made mention that Yule only has one data type. The reason is because you can actually assign any byte 32 to any data types that we have in Solidity. So let's see that in action. We copy this and we paste it here. We call it get x. So what we really want to do is we want to assign an hexadecimal value to u in 256. x of 100 0x64 then we assign x to be 0x64 we ensure it's compiled then we deploy we get x x returns 100 let's proceed to how to test how to returns address and boolean in you we still have this contract we call it get representation which is going to return an address we call it underscore red so we initialize underscore red and we return underscore red so here we return one so we delete previous contracts we redeploy we get representation it returns an address that ends with an index of one now let's test with booleans or what if we change this to two we change this to two we delete previous contracts we redeploy we get representation so if you can guess right you notice that it returns two so the last index of an address let's proceed to test with boolean we return boolean we change address to boolean then we set boolean to one then we delete previous contracts we clear this we redeploy, we get representation, it returns two. What if we want to return false? We change one to zero, we delete previous contracts, we redeploy, it returns false. So what's happening under the scene? Now, every zero index 32 bytes, that the last index is still zero, is going to return false. And every zero index 32 bytes, that the last index is one, is actually being seen as true when it comes to you. But if it's a zero index 32 bytes, then it's definitely going to be seen as false when it comes to you. So to further illustrate what I'm saying about last index and not last index when it comes to boolean. Um, so I declared a byte 32 and it did not initialize it. I just set it to zero index bytes. So we decide to just declare it here. So what we did here is we took this rep, which is a boolean, and we initialize it to zero index bytes. So what is this going to return? If you can guess right, you will notice that when we check it, it returns false. The reason is because this byte 32 has not been initialized and the length of byte 32 that is not initialized is definitely going to be a zero index byte. So when we initialize a zero index byte into a boolean, so that's the reason why it now returns false. What if we want to initialize byte 32 that we declared as zero when we initialize it to be this so we delete the previous contract we redeploy and we check so it returns true so this is what i'm saying any zero index byte when it comes to boolean is going to return false automatically dvm is going to see it as a false so zero index bytes are actually seen as false why a non-zero index byte is seen as true so now let's test with some more interesting data types that we have so string is naturally not a byte 32 so we cannot do something like this memory and we call it demo um let's initialize it to empty inside an assembly block we initialize demo to something like hello world 
then we return demo so we compile then we deploy so even though it's compiled it still reverts with an out of gas error so what's going on here this is memory right so string naturally are not being stored on the stack so it's being stored on the equivalent of the heap and you is trying to assign a low word on a pointer there's a pointer on a stack to a location in the memory so this is not going to work so how do we make this work now we turn this we remove this and we change it into byte 32 we return the return type we change it to byte 32 don't worry we are going to return string and we delete the previous contract we deploy and we demo string so it returns the byte 32 which is the equivalent of hello world so what we have to do now is if we can convert this byte 32 back to string then we are going to be getting the value that is inside this byte 32 so how do we make this work we revert this we change it to string memory and instead of returning demo with string um what's happening okay okay yeah got that yeah great so we delete previous contract we redeploy we demo string so it returns a low word so how do we make this work remember this is by 32 and by 32 is usually stored on a stack so we declare by 32 and we assign by 32 so since we've already assigned it so it's already lead to the pointer so we now return it the by 32 then we stringify it but mind you we are likely going to be facing an issue here because on the evm slot we only have 32 bytes storage there on every slot that we have so what if we want to store something that is more than 32 bytes for instance we clear this and we say this is expected to be error here yeah what if we have something like this okay the compiler is going to return an error that said we are trying to assign a value that is longer than byte 32 into a byte 32 so how do we solve this now we are going to be solving this in a later video so the point that i'm trying to drive at is that byte 32 is the only language that you'll actually understand so what happened is we can actually assign byte 32 to any data types that we have in solidity solidity we try to enforce the interpretation into byte 32 or into a string or into an address as you've seen or into a boolean or into a unit 256 just we have seen so i hope you learned something here just click the like button and subscribe for more videos because we are going to be going deep into what an evm actually means for you to become an advanced smart contract engineer